For many Americans, vacations are their hobbies on safari. If you like baseball, you go to Cooperstown. If you like halibut fishing, you go to Homer. And if you spend a lot of time marveling at the Milky Way, you go here. This is the Mauna Kea Observatory Complex, and it's the best place on Earth to look at the stars. Forget the nine-hour plane ride. The expedition really starts with a piece of linoleum. This is the car rental counter in Hilo, a fruit-happy hamlet on Hawaii's east coast. It's a place where they politely and repeatedly ignore whatever you say and send you out the door in a ridiculous three-quarter ton diesel pickup with manual hub locks. Somehow, I'm driving around paradise and I'm convinced I haven't left the Midwest. But here's the really frustrating part. Astronomy is an increasingly automated science, and if you want to meet the actual astronomers, you have to bypass the telescopes and make your way to Waimea, a lava-streaked ranching town on the dry side of the island. The political reporter in me made sure to schedule interviews with two competing groups. First, the WM Keck Observatory, and second, the Canada-France-Hawaii Telescope. If you've ever seen The Life Aquatic, the two organizations are easy to describe. CFHT is Bill Murray's boat, and the Keck, their team Hennessy. Although to be fair, I don't think anybody I met would hit the dog. Even so, I decided to spend my time with CFHT. They don't have the most up-to-date equipment, but over the years they've dreamed up countless clever techniques to keep their facility relevant. As someone who works for a PBS affiliate, I get what that's about. But enough interviews. I want to see the summit. About 9,000 feet up the volcano, the road becomes a dusty switchback, and the final six and one-half miles are a fish-tailing, diesel-burning, torque-flailing mess. My full apologies to the truck rental folks. Thank you for refusing me the convertible. When I reach the CFHT Observatory, I'm greeted by one of the coolest tours of my career. For all the scientists out there, let me put it this way. If you graph the exciting moments in my life, this peak right here would be my two-minute roundabout on the rotating dome. Then the finale, the entire universe, massive, sharp, and uninterrupted. For me, these buildings represent the best characteristics of our species, curiosity, collaboration, and the patient accumulation of knowledge. My one petty hope is that the next big discovery does go to CFHT, because as everybody knows, when the chips were down, it was Bill Murray who saved Hennessy's ass. Remember that, Keck. Thanks for listening.